2.8 billion US dollars worth of coal to methanol consortium agreement has been signed by the collaborating companies of Bakery Capital Indonesia Incorporated, Itacha Resources Incorporated, and Air Product Incorporated. The signing was held virtually on May 14, 2020, and was attended by Adika Nugraha, the CEO of Bakery Capital Indonesia Incorporated. Agus Proyosasmito, the President Director of Itacha Resources Incorporated, and Seifi Gesami, the President of Air Products. My card is the pen, and I'm going to be signing. Okay. Okay. After this, uh, followed by taking virtual picture. So. The plan is to build an international scale of CTM processing facility in Batuta Industrial Semical Park, which is located in Bengalon, Iskutai District, East Kalimantan. The facility will be finished in 2024, and once it's fully operational, it will produce nearly 2 million tons of methanol per year. With that amount producing capability, it's expected to help the government's B30 biodiesel program and other chemical industries, thus decreasing the country's dependency on imported methanol. In addition, the gasification will also produce the raw material for the liquefied petroleum gas, ammonia, fertilizer, and even power stations. The first pioneer project that is initiated by air products and chemicals Bakri Capital, Itaka Resources, and we understand that the feasibility study will, co will completed soon and the project completion will be in the third quarter of 2023. And please make sure that the project will be signing our the, the cutting ribbon ceremony is done before the next general election in 2024. I think the, the project uh, promoter uh, agree on this, so this will become the pioneering projects. The first that we uh, put a high value added of the new mineral and uh, coal law that just been signed yesterday. There are several more. There are several more support from government to encourage and accelerate the projects. This only as a mark that the current government uh, Cipta Kerja Law or Omnibus Law for reform, structural economic reform, will provide the economics of the mining as well as the request of the coal to mine to methanol project that will allow royalty to be paid 0% and exclusion of domestic market obligation. So I think by supporting this law to pass in the parliament will create this project more viable. On top of this, the government already uh, can grant the tax holiday uh, for this project since the amount of project is $2 billion. And as pa, uh, Adika Bakri said that there will be a saving of five point. 4 billion if the produce if the project can produce 1.8 million ton per year so this definitely will improve our current account deficit uh, and also uh, this is really uh, needed by the countries and i do believe that this signing ceremony although virtually will not reduce the essence but i do hope that the, the factory will be groundbreaking in the real sense, brick and mortar, not in the virtual sense. So uh, through this project, we hope that uh, the project can be executed and work well, and uh, at the end will support the Indonesian economic 
as well as to the benefit of Indonesian people. I would like to congratulate all the, the team, the sponsor and the projects. And we would like to thank you. Wabilahi Taufik wa Hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Unlike coal, gas is more eco-friendly. Therefore, the coal-fired power stations is not going to emit pollution as much as before, hence the pollution to the air and the wood can be reduced greatly.